We're just about to open some mail and Boo has decided he wants to lay on it. I wonder if that's an indication of catnip inside. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Boo, we're gonna open the mail. Ready to open some mail, Boo? Boo wants to sleep on the mail. Boo, you're gonna open the mail? Okay, we are going to open some mail right now. We have some envelopes here for the cats. That's odd. Somehow that's opened, and I have not opened it. Look at this cat. Isn't that cute? That's so funny. I could totally see Stella dressed up like that. Oh, so that's what he smelled. This says, Happy Birthday, Second Simba and Splash. We love you guys, Zawa and Russell. The bug one is for Simba, the donut is for Splash. They're supposed to be a piece of cake, but didn't turn out like I thought. Oh, thank you, Zoa. I will give these to Simba and Splash, and I am sure they will love these. And look, they do. They look like pieces of cake with a candle on top. That's really cute. Thank you so much for sending these for the cats. Okay, let's open up the next envelope. This comes all of the way from Canada. Let's try to get this open without breaking anything. This says Bon Fet. I don't know how to pronounce that at all. It says happy birthday. It means happy birthday. Look at all the cute cats. There's Simba, there's Splash, there's Stella, there's Boo, there's Hydrox. Look at this. This says, happy birthday, Splash and Simba, two years. You are so beautiful and gentle. Stay like you are forever. You will receive two meaty sticks for this occasion, I am pretty sure. Sarah can't have those goodies because we don't have it in Canada, Quebec, and she can't crushed on it because she only has 10 treats in her mouth. And there's Sarah. Look at all the cute stickers. It says, for the party, wear your hat. Cute. From Nicole and Sarah. Thank you, Nicole and Sarah. That's very creative. And here we have sticky notes. Look how cute. Cat sticky notes. And there's actually, there's a sticker on here that might have come from the inside. That might have come from in here somewhere. I'll put that in there. And these are the cat sticky notes. That's awesome. I'm always using sticky notes. Uh, whenever I'm reading a book or anything, I always use sticky notes uh, to mark pages and uh, important information. So thank you so much. That's really great. And thank you for wishing Splash and Simba a happy birthday. And here we have another card. This says, I'm one lucky cat. Oh, that's cool. This says, got a psychic message from your kitties and they want to be sure you got a card for being a wonderful mother to them. Sharon, P.S. Mocha and Capo also send their meows. Well, thank you. Oh, check it out. Cat Mom. This is a magnet. That's really cool. I'm going to put that on the refrigerator. This says, you're so good to me that I want to spend all nine lives with you. Happy Mother's Day from your clouder, Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, and Hydrox. Thank you so much, Sharon, Mocha, and Capo, and I hope I'm pronouncing all those names correctly. 
Okay, and then we have this envelope. Boo's laying here watching me. This says, hi LF, hope this extra memory will help to speed up the rendering time while editing on your Mac. The more memory, the better, from Paul C. And here we have a 16 gigabyte kit of RAM for the MacBook that I use to edit videos on. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Paul. I am really hoping that this helps speed up the computer and just make it so much easier to edit the videos. I spend so much time with like the beach ball just going around waiting for the computer to catch up. So I'm hoping that I spend less time waiting and more time actually just getting things done quicker. So uh, this is totally awesome. Thank you so much. Let me show you what I got at Tractor Supply. So they had a full aisle of cat food and cat supplies. It was really cool. They had um, this canned cat food. It's called For Health. I've never seen this before. And it's 100% grain free. No corn, no wheat, no soy. And um, individually, it's 69 cents a can. Then they had these 12 packs. Um, I think the 12 packs were around um, $7.49 or $8 around there. So I got two of these 12 packs and um, it's six grain-free chicken and white fish dinners and six grain-free turkey and giblets dinners. And if I had to compare this food um, to another food in the market, I would say it's kind of similar to like uh, Trader Joe's uh, cat food. And here in the back, they list the ingredients. So let's take a look at the grain-free chicken and white fish dinner. The ingredients are chicken broth, chicken, poultry liver, white fish, dried egg product, guar gum, potassium chloride, salt, minerals, goes through all the minerals, vitamins, goes through all the vitamins. And then there's some carrageenan, choline chloride, taurine. So um, there's no byproducts, there are no grains. It's basically uh, just protein with vitamins and minerals. So um, for a, a healthy cat food, it's pretty good. The only thing it's missing are fruits and vegetables. That's the only difference between a healthy cat food and then what I would call like a premium healthy cat food. The premium healthy cat foods normally also have some fruits and vegetables in them. Um, so here is the grain-free turkey and giblets dinner. The ingredients are turkey broth, turkey, chicken, poultry giblets, dried egg product, guar gum, potassium chloride, salt, carrageenan, then it goes into the minerals and the vitamins. Um, it's pretty basic and it's um, healthy again, no strange byproducts and uh, no grains, no fillers, and uh, I think it's a good deal. I also got a pair of these weather resistant leather gardening gloves or outdoor gloves, some work gloves. Um, this is grain goatskin leather and um, it says it has aqua armor on it for water resistant technology. Um, I had a similar pair of gloves uh, previously that are probably about six years old now and they are just a mess. I still use them but they're just like all messed up because they're so old and they've been used so much. Um, so I got these and these will be great for um, doing stuff in the yard. And the other thing that I got was this burpee soil tester. It says it's electronic, easily test soil in minutes, no batteries required. And this was the last one they had in the store. And it was funny because as I was purchasing this, the cashier was like uh, freaking out a little bit because he's like, oh my gosh, we still have one. Uh, someone was just looking for one. They said we, they couldn't find one and they thought they were all sold out. So. Somehow, I found the last one in the store. And I think this will be great to help test soil um, for like if I'm growing wheatgrass or catgrass or um, even catnip or anything in the yard. So that's what I got at Tractor Supply. And I wanna thank Dan from Cleveland for sending the gift card uh, that helped purchase all of these items. And then these are the plants that I got at Sugarloaf Mountain Herbs yesterday. We have some Province Lavender. So that'll be nice to plant that. We have some Pineapple Sage. 
This smells so good. It smells just like pineapple. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Then I have a non-stop deep salmon begonia. I normally like to put red begonias in uh, my front yard. But they didn't have any red ones, and this was the closest color. It's like a, a bright salmon color, so I think that'll look nice. And then look at this, this is a catnip plant. Um, so the cats are going to get some fresh catnip. I don't think they've ever had fresh catnip before, but I really can't remember, but I thought this plant looked really good. And I'm going to save that for their birthday celebration tomorrow. But then they had this plant. It is a burgundy oxalis, which is a type of shamrock plant. And I've never seen this before, and I think it looks really cool. I used to have um, shamrocks. I think they were called like iron cross shamrocks. So they would be like um, green four-leaf clovers, and then they had like a burgundy cross inside. But somehow I lost those. I don't know if... Um, they got picked out or what, but uh, they haven't come back up. So this is what Hydrox's shelter looks like after it's been removed and all cleaned out. You can see it's just all insulation inside. It's been holding up really good. And this is what that heated pet mat looks like. It obviously got a lot of use this past winter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, cover off of it and... Um, take it to a laundromat and get it washed and this is the self-heating mat which is going back inside and that's what the bottom of my house used to look like before the cats moved into it it's about 10 p.m. and I am just about to uh, give the cats some crunchies or just see how many crunchies they have now. They've been eating a lot of crunchies over the past two days. I fed them dinner a little while ago. Oh, yeah, see? There's still a bunch of crunchies on here. Stella came downstairs. She was upstairs. Boo's in his room. I just gave him the rest of his dinner. Hello, Simba. Simba's sleeping on top of the cat tower. This is what I replaced the cardboard cat scratchers with, and Stella likes it just as much. She's been using it a lot. Um, I got this on clearance at Target like quite a while ago. On uh, one side it's like a carpet pad, and then on the other side this is more like, I guess like a sisal. It's just like really scratchy. What Stella likes to do is she likes to like sit on it and like scratch on it. And I like it because there's not pieces of cardboard all over the place. There's Stella right now. Stella wants to play. Stella loves it anytime you like put any kind of toy like under these scratch and rolls. I guess she feels like she's hunting something. Here's Simba. He came off the cat tower. Simba spent, I would say, about half of the day laying on my bed. Um, he went up. He wanted to go upstairs with Boo, and uh, there was a lot going on today, so I put him in the bedroom. 
At first he ran under the bed, but then he came out and he was like laying on top of the bed most of the day. Which which is good. I mean, that's what I want him to do. Like I want him to just stay there and relax and not be running around like crazy. They also have crunchies in their cat it food tree thing. So they have plenty of food, they have plenty of crunchies. There's crunchies on the rug right there and nobody's eating them. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.